Ping's got some new putters here in 2021, incredibly soft feel and some sleek designs. We're testing them out and telling you guys everything you need to know. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here at the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van. We've got some new putters today from Ping to test out, provide some feedback on the 2021 putters here from Ping. Um, in total, there are 11 models here, Thomas, but we've been able to test three of them here today. Got our feedback, taken some you know thoughts on the feel and the look as well. So uh, Ping has always been incredible with putters. I mean, we talk you go know, decades back, the answer style from Carson Solheim was sort of revolutionary uh, in the golf equipment and still widely used today. Um, and so, of course, it's not surprising that 2021 uh, is here and Ping has still delivered. Yeah, I mean, speaking on those answer blades, essentially, there's a, there's a few different blade options. Mm -hmm. There's the answer, the answer two. There's plenty of different options mm -hmm. in blade models for, for Ping. One thing I really kind of noticed with these, these putters is they feel incredibly soft. Mm -hmm. I was even comparing them to like the Sigma 2. I think they're kind of replacing the feel of that Sigma 2 with that very, very soft insert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've maybe adjusted how the face, uh, you know, the grooves are designed a little bit, but the, the goal is to provide really soft feel, and they certainly have done that here with the Ping 2021 putters. So, in total, there are, like I said, 11 models uh, in the Ping 2021 putter lineup. As Thomas mentioned, there's three answer blades, so the answer, answer 2, and the answer 4. So those are going to be primarily for your kind of strong or slight arc uh, putters out there. So then for the mid mallets, uh, there's the Cushion 4, the DS72, which is a new design from Ping. Also a new design, the CA70 and the Tyne 4, which is one we got to test today. And then for the mallets, uh, the Fetch, you have the Tyne C, the Oslo H, the Harwood, and the Harwood Arm Lock. And the Harwood is also a new design from Ping that has not been previously uh, included in a uh, putter lineup. So we've got the DS72, we've got the Tyne 4, and we've got the Answer uh, with us today. So we tested all of them. Uh, you got the Answer, I believe Answer 2 in your hand. What do you think about that one? I mean, it looks, I love the sleek black look on it, looking down at it. It's not going to be shiny at a dress. So if you're outside playing in the sun, it's going to be looking very, very good. It's not going to mm -hmm. get too much shine going on. One thing I kind of found interesting here is they kind of went away from their adjustable lengths with their yeah. golf shafts. So there's no adjustability there. I know those shafts were just a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit more flexible in the past. And we also kind of noticed grips. So with the, with the grips, we've got mm -hmm. two different options. I'm holding the, the Lambkin grip, which is a little bit larger, kind of very, very soft feel. And you're holding the Golf Pride grip option there too, which is kind of their traditional staple grip that Pink's yep. had for a long time. For sure. And so talking on the technology, so the dual durometer face insert, um, it was you know, introduced kind of with Sigma 2, it was that soft, really soft feel. They've adjusted a little bit with it, they've kind of, the grooves are a little bit shallower, uh, and they're kind of uniform depth across the face, but um, the results clearly is, as we mentioned already so many times, very soft feel. And you know, I was putting with the Tyne 4 here, and it was, I mean, there was very, very little vibration at impact. Yeah, one other thing I kind of noticed is they got these tungsten weights up mm -hmm. the front here too. Kind of looks like it kind of blends with the, with the face a little bit, that, but they are tungsten weights that are, that are inserted in there. It's going to help with stability with the, with the putter as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, so you got the tungsten weights in there. That's going to help for stability. And of course, depending on the model that you choose, right? If you go with, uh, for example, the Harwood, which is the new uh, kind of modern mallet designed for Ping, and as you can see, it's a very large club head shape. They've got kind of that a lot of ton of weight behind like the heel and toe areas um, of that. And that's... You know, as Larry Bob likes to say, resistance to twist, high MOI, that hardwood is going to deliver that for you. Yeah, speaking of modern, it's definitely a, right. uh, it's a large MOI putter. Mm -hmm. And there's some other models, you see how they push all that weight all the way kind of back. Well, that is large MOI. It also comes in an arm lock version mm -hmm. as well, which I kind of like the idea of. It's been an arm lock putter for the last mm -hmm. couple of years. So it'll be a very, very stable putter. Mm -hmm. And lastly, with the 2021 Ping Putters, alignment aids. We all need help lining the ball up. So with this black face with the white lines transition, it's really easy to line yourself up. I know the mallets specifically will have even stronger alignment aids. You're about to see a little more evident there too. 
We all need help lining the ball up, mm -hmm. and ping gives us some great options to be able to line the ball up directly towards the target. Absolutely, yep. That's alignment's a big key, and of course, the white contrast to the black. It doesn't get any more contrast than that. So, ping's done a great job with the 2021 putters. Uh, they look great, they feel great. If you're interested, of course, stop into a Second Swing store, or as I mentioned before, you can schedule a putter fitting as well on our fitting website. So, Thomas, thanks for joining today, testing out the putters, and providing your feedback. Not a problem. Thank you.